Hello and welcome to today's video. In this video, we will talk about how to save money fast and why it is important to do so. Saving money can help you achieve your financial goals, whether it is buying a house, paying off debt, or investing for the future. Saving money can also give you peace of mind, security, and freedom. But how can you save money fast without sacrificing your quality of life? Here are some tips and tricks that you can try. A monthly budget is a plan that helps you administer your money by allocating it to different categories, such as income, expenses, accumulation, and debt. A monthly budget can advise you clue your spending habits, analyze areas you can save money, and accomplish your banking goals. There are different methods to accomplish your budget, but one of the simplest is the 50-30-20 rule. This aphorism suggests that you bisect your after-tax assets into three capital categories. 50% for needs, 30% for wants, and 20% for accumulation and debt. Needs are capital costs that you cannot avoid, such as rent, food, utilities, etc. Wants are arbitrary costs that you can alive without, such as entertainment, travel, hobbies, etc. Accumulation and debt are the amounts that you put abreast for your approaching goals or pay off your absolute debts. Creating a budget is a acute way to see how abundant money you accept and what you're spending it on every month. It's additionally an acceptable way to budget funds for things that are important to you. For example, you may enjoy running and want to participate in local running competitions. You will need to set aside the money to pay entrance fees for races and buy quality running shoes. That will mean prioritizing a hobby that's important to you over other expenses such as going out to eat in restaurants. Once you have a budget, it's accessible to clue costs to accomplish abiding you except abundant to pay for the things you need. If you're living in a college residence hall, you're likely paying for a school meal plan. That means most or all of your meals are already paid for. Don't waste that money by eating at local fast food restaurants. It's like paying for one meal, twice. At most schools, you can eat at any dining hall on campus. Find out which halls are near your classes and plan mealtimes accordingly. Make plans to meet up with friends on Taco Tuesday or when a specific dining hall has ice cream sundaes for dessert. Bartering can advise you save money in Academy by acceptance you to bargain article that you accept or can do for article that you charge or want. Here are some examples of how to bargain as students. You can bargain your abilities or talents such as tutoring, babysitting, photography, clear design, etc. For things like textbooks, clothes, food, tickets, etc. You can bargain your belongings, such as books, games, clothes, electronics, etc. for added items that you charge or want. The average American spends between $1 and $3 a day on coffee. Financial experts call this spending habit the latte factor. It's the money we spend visiting coffee shops instead of making our morning cups of joe at home. Brewing coffee at home costs pennies a cup, compared to several dollars a cup at some specialty coffee shops. You don't have to deprive yourself just because a barista isn't making your coffee. Buy mocha or vanilla syrup to have at home and add some pizzas to your morning coffee. You'll save money, and you don't even have to get out of your pajamas. The average American spends between $1 and $3 a day on coffee. Financial experts call this spending habit the latte factor. It's the money we spend visiting coffee shops instead of making our morning cups of joe at home. Brewing coffee at home costs pennies a cup, compared to several dollars a cup at some specialty coffee shops. You don't have to deprive yourself just because a barista isn't making your coffee. Buy mocha or vanilla syrup to have at home and add some pizzazz to your morning coffee. You'll save money and you don't even have to get out of your pajamas. Thanks to the internet, you can learn at-home pampering skills to keep you looking good for a lot less than a visit to a salon. Instead of paying $1.30 or $1.40 for a manicure, research tips for a professional-looking manicure or pedicure at home. Comb through the fashion blogs for other at-home beauty treatments such as self-tanning, hair treatments, and even waxing. A great way to save money on college tuition is to apply for scholarships. The process can seem intimidating, but there are many different scholarships you could qualify for. 
Taking the time to research which ones are right for you and filling out the applications can result in hundreds or even thousands of dollars in scholarships. If you're no longer living in a residence hall and taking advantage of the delicious meal plan, learn to whip up your own meals. Check out free recipes online or call mom or grandma and ask them to share secret family recipes for pasta sauce and chicken enchiladas. Make a double batch and freeze the leftovers in individual portions for delicious home-cooked meals in a snap. Ordering a pizza at 2 a.m. while hanging out with your friends or studying for that big calculus exam may seem like a good idea. It's not. Besides extra calories you don't need, it's also the money you, probably, don't have. Most students have some amount of student loans. The good news is that you don't have to start paying them back until after you leave school. However, interest does begin to accrue on the date the loans are disbursed. For federally subsidized loans, the government pays the interest while you are in school. For unsubsidized or private loans, you are responsible for the interest. You can choose to pay off student loan interest while in school, or it can be added to the original loan amount and continue to increase until you enter the loan repayment period. Paying the interest while in school can save you hundreds or thousands of dollars down the road. Hanging out with your friends is important, but you don't always have to spend money at a restaurant or club to have fun. Invite your friends over for movie night. Ask each person to bring snacks to share. You rent the movie, and everyone has a good time. Most colleges and universities have fitness centers on campus. Fees for the facilities are probably included on your tuition bill every semester. So don't join a private gym just because it's closer to your apartment. Get fit and save money at the same time. Everyone understands that struggling college students have little extra cash to spend on gifts. That doesn't mean you don't want to give a gift when someone close to you is celebrating a birthday or special holiday. Let a loved one know you care by giving them a gift of your time. Create coupons for dog walking, babysitting, or car washes. They'll love that you made the effort to remember their special day. Movies, books, ebooks, and music are all available for free at your school library. Spend a couple of hours leafing through books until you find something that interests you. Don't have time to peruse the bookshelves? Most libraries have smartphone apps to reserve materials and download content. Taking advantage of free library services doesn't mean taking a pass on the latest bestseller. Put your name on the library waitlist, and you'll be notified when it's your turn. Preferred customer cards are available at most grocery stores. Watch for sales and stock up on commonly used items, such as cereal. For example, the store may have a BOGO deal on toilet paper. Stock up and count the savings. However, don't get fooled into buying things you really won't use or eat. No one ever finished the variety pack of granola bars because who likes raisins? Clubs, intramural sports, and free concerts are available on most college campuses. Check out the calendar of events at your school and join in the free fun. Combining just a few of these tips to save money in college could add up to some real savings. Along the way, you could also develop strong financial skills that will make a big difference down the road. Saving money fast is not impossible if you follow these tips and tricks. By tracking your income and expenses, setting a savings goal and a deadline, automating your savings, saving before you spend, and finding ways to earn more money, you can save money fast and achieve your financial goals. Remember that saving money is not only about numbers, but also about habits, mindset, and lifestyle. The more you save money, the more you will enjoy the benefits of saving money. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please like, share, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this one. See you in the next video.